Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Really excited for today's video. It is going to be my makeup rehab update for the month of April. I am filming this on April 5th. I have been waiting all day for my Sephora VIB packages to arrive, but maybe it's a sign. They still haven't arrived yet. It's almost five o'clock PM. And if they arrived, then I feel like I would have to put those into this month's like deductions from my bank account. So maybe it's a sign that we need to wait another month, but I am really excited because I do have a ton of makeup empties to share with you guys today. Only a few makeup products that I actually purchased in the month of March because obviously we're in April right now, but I'm recapping March for you guys. If you are new to my makeup rehab series, I have started or started this like beauty bank style of series last year where rather than doing a low buy where I kept it to like a, a budgeted monetary value i gave myself a total of last year was 36 makeup products that i wanted to, that i gave myself in my beauty bank if i purchased a product my beauty bank went down by one but if i emptied out a makeup product my beauty bank went up by one this year i decided to challenge myself a little bit further and we brought our beauty bank down to a starting balance of 30 um and we're just gonna go from there so it's gonna be my update for today um my friend emily from emily and max does this style of video as well my friend alex does something similar i'll leave similar videos like this so if you like this style of content definitely go check out everyone who i'll have listed down below i personally love watching the style video i love binge watching project panning content and i love binge watching people's like low buys or just like challenge style videos so if you're like me and you like this style of video go check everyone who's going to be in my description box down below if you're interested in seeing all the products that i used up as well as all the products that I brought in in the month of March where my beauty bank is at. Stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content or just chit chatting about makeup. I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, I already kind of described what this beauty bank style video is. I also take my makeup rehab series as an opportunity to share any PR that I would have received in March. And then I do not count eyeshadow palettes, sorry, I gave myself a goal this year this year of only bringing in three eyeshadow palettes per month so normally i would take this time in this video to also share with you any eyeshadow palettes that i purchased in the month of march but i actually didn't purchase any so in january i did not purchase any eyeshadow palettes then in february i purchased my three eyeshadow palettes that were rolling over for january plus three eyeshadow palettes for february and purchased six eyeshadow palettes and then in march i didn't purchase any now i did purchase one eyeshadow palette i think during this for a vib sale and i saw that artist couture is coming out with another one on the 8th so i definitely will be purchasing that but i don't have any eyeshadow palettes to share with you i do have a small basket of pr to share with you and a couple of gifts um my sister actually sent uh me home with a few items that she had in her collection that she wasn't using so i do like to take this time just to share like gifts that she gave me or that i received as pr because i do not count those towards my beauty bank and i should specify my beauty bank is makeup only, so no eyeshadow palettes with, the, well, kind of eyeshadow palettes because I'm tracking like the three per month, but no like skincare. I don't track any of that, just makeup only. <clears throat> and then gifts and PR don't count. So let's quickly start with what my sister gave me in terms of makeup. I have these four products right here. So from Vapor, I appreciate my sister because I feel like she's always trying out sometimes like brands i haven't even heard of so from vapor she gave me the velvet glow foundation i have swatched this it does look pretty yellow tone but i think i can make it work and i'm excited to just try something that i hadn't heard of from rms beauty she gave me because this is way too deep for her it's the living lumina or it's the luminizing powder and it's in a really deep shade i've been using this as a deep bronzer and with a really fluffy brush with a self tan i can make this work and i actually really have been enjoying this and then she gave me two of these lipsticks from ritual and i love the shades so i have the shade De detura oh my gosh you guys spelling sound spelling not my thing there it is right there i will say this formula is drier so i do like to pair it with um like a lip gloss but i do like these shades a lot and then right here we have the shade white thorn um, so I've been enjoying using these as well. And then in terms of PR, so um, Look Fantastic sent me just a $50 voucher for Valentine's Day, which I thought was so nice. Um, so the two things that I purchased from them were the Natasha Denona Mini Blushing Glow. Um, I've really been enjoying this. I think this is going to be beautiful, this blush for the spring summer. And I do really like this highlight. It's like a beautiful champagne and it's a little bit lighter, not so intense, which I've been preferring for my highlight. I also picked up the Herborean CC Water 
because I haven't tried the Herborean water CC cream and I love the Herborean regular CC cream, which I don't think they had in the shade that I wanted. I'm gonna review this in like a speed reviews, but I'm not a fan of this. I just don't like it at all. It's, it's like a th weird consistency. It doesn't blend even, I just, I'm not a fan. Which is such a bummer because I love the regular Arborean CC cream. Um, and then for PR, I have this set of nail polishes from Gabriel Cosmetics. This is their Bohemian Bouquet. And I have used every single color except for the white and the gray. I currently have on the lilac, which I love. And I really love this peach shade as well. I wasn't expecting to love this blue either, but I actually really liked it. For fun, like pastel shades for the spring summer, I think this is a really nice set. I will leave it linked below. They did send me this in partnership with Octoly, which I'm very, very thankful for. I love nail polish, you guys. So getting to try five new nail polishes was super exciting for me. I did have them send their fall set over to me as well. I really like their nail polish formula. I think it's really long lasting. And if you like these shades, I think that it's a really nice value for the set that you're getting as well. And then from Plant Apoth Apothecary, Apoth the carry you guys why can't i why can't i speak english i'm 30 years old and i still don't apoth ap i know like the, the word if someone said it to me i'd be like oh yeah like uh-huh apothecary apothecary okay i'm embarrassed am i even gonna cut this part no because this is real life and i don't know how to sound spell so from this brand which i'm gonna put on the screen <laughs> first of all i again with octoly <clears throat> So this became available on my Octoly store. It was in sets of two. So there were two separate sets. And I first put my order in for this set, which is the, so these are shower gels. It's the Get It On shower gel, as well as the Be Well shower gel. They're ar aromic um, shower gels, bath, bubble bath, body wash, whatever you wanna call them. So the Get It On is patchouli and rose geranium. And the Be Well is cypress and eucalyptus. I love baths. I take a bath just about every day, bubble bath, love it, bath bombs, all the things, all the self care. I do like my Headspace app while I'm in the bath or I'll like watch YouTube videos or I'll read a book. It's just like literally like my me time. I look forward to my bath every single day. If I'm having the worst day, all I can think about is like bubble bath tonight, 8 p.m. So I was really excited about these. Body wash, like typically I'm like, okay, like I can take it or leave it. I don't need to spend a lot on body wash. Like I never felt like I'd be the type of person that would be like, oh my gosh, I want like the Chanel body wash because I'm so bougie. Like I can get my body wash at Bath and Body Works, Target, whatever it might be, and I'm happy. However, these are incredible. I love the smell of the patchouli, patchouli and rose jerk rose geranium um but i also really like the cypress and eucalyptus so i usually use this one in the shower and then i use this one in like the bath because this like really sets the tone for like my zen bath but then this i love the scent of like washing my body and then smelling like this afterwards so because i loved this set so much i was like okay i'm gonna apply also for the second set and just see if i get approved which i did which i was so excited about so now i also have the start happy and the calm down i've started going between calm down and be well for my bath because calm down is lavender and spearmint again really sets the tone it's just like the bath time vibe and then the start happy is citrus and frankenese which i love for like a morning time shower so this is like another so the reason i love octoly is because i feel like i get to try things from brands that like i probably never would have heard of or never would have purchased from had i had they not popped up on my octoly store and i've been a little bit curious the bossy pants candles i have one burning back here um for got my first got my first candle from them through octoly and now i'm obsessed and i've like i i will continue to still purchase bath and body work candles but i also just did a, a bossy pants candle haul because i was like okay love these this is going to be that same situation like now i'm like okay do they have more scents like i feel like i need to try every single body wash that they have for sure when i finish the get it on i love this scent so so much absolutely would repurchase this one again as well as probably the be well for my bath like if i had to choose between be well and calm down i probably would choose be well i just love the smell of eucalyptus but i love both. i love all four they are rather expensive but you're getting a lot of product you are getting 8.4 fluid ounces i mean i'd say check them out or like they make great gifts as well i just got a whiff of 
the rose and patchouli i'm literally obsessed that is like my go-to i don't feel like i'm gonna be able to live without that shower gel anymore all right so those were all of the gifts in pr now let's move on to all the products that i purchased or brought into my collection throughout the month of march i always like to start with my purchases because then we like see where our beauty bank gets down to and then we talk about the empties at the end happy happy times we increase our beauty bank all right you guys so i'm super proud and super happy to say i only brought three makeup items into my collection in the month of march i feel like this is like earth shattering groundbreaking i only spent 18 dollars 99 cents on makeup in march like can we take a moment this is truly a big day um these are the three products that i purchased in the month of march we should start by saying my beauty bank balance was at 28 when we we're at the beginning of March before I purchased anything. That's where we ended February. Um, and I, Kelly Gooch was doing a video about the Elf Cookies and Cream collection. And <laughs> I remember I was like doing my makeup for the day and I was like, I need to go to Walmart because I really need to like try the Elf Cookies and Cream. I like live super close to a Walmart now. I'm not typically a Walmart shopper, um, but I drove over to Walmart and I picked up these two items. I picked up the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Sweet Cream which is this really, really stark white shade, which Kelly had used as an inner corner highlight in her eyes. And I was like, yeah, I definitely need that. I have the NYX jumbo white pencil. I probably didn't need this, but I've been really happy with the, this so far. And then I also picked up the uh, shade Chill Zone, which is this really beautiful, it kind of like matches my shirt. It's a really beautiful, almost like periwinkle, but more blue sort of shade. And I just thought it would be fun to kind of pair with the shade like Good God from JD Glow Cosmetics, which I love. I just thought I could have some fun with this. I did do like a pastel liner look in early-ish March. And I was using this and I really enjoyed it. So I've been a huge fan of these no budge sticks. Each cost $5. I do know e.l.f. increased their prices on some of their items. So I don't know if these are now like $6, but when I purchased them, they were $5 a piece. And then when I was at Walmart, they had, I think it was at Walmart, was it? Or did I get this at Target? I'm honestly not sure. But I have the Tarte, not Tarte, the Milani uh, lip. What do they call these? I don't know like the studded lipsticks. Um, and I picked up the shade Tease because I feel like this was the shade everyone was talking about potentially being a dupe for either Pillow Talk or Very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury. And I was just like very interested. This shade, I freaking love. You guys know I'm a big fan of like nudie brown shades, Tarte Color, Spru Tarte Color Splash Rum Punch is my favorite lipstick. This is a really comfortable formula. It's like a satin matte as well. It's not super matte, it's not super dry. It's a really beautiful, deep, taupey browny, almost like mauve shade. It's a little bit deeper than Tarte Rum Punch, but I love this. I'm so happy that I picked this up. I do have very specific rules laid out in my beauty bank, which I forgot to share at the introduction. I'll post them on the screen right now. One of them being that I could only purchase three lip products until the Sephora VIB sale. The Sephora VIB sale has now like come and is still going on because it's April 5th. But this was the only lip product that I purchased so far in 2022. I did pick up at least one, maybe two during the Sephora VIB sale. And next update after we go through all of my Sephora VIB sale purchases, we'll reassess where we're at in terms of like low buy items for the rest of the year or at least until maybe like the next Sephora VIB sale. But this is my only lip product purchase so far this year and I'm really happy with it. I thought I would regret it because it was kind of like spur of the moment, kind of like an impulse purchase. This is something I had like looked for in the past but it was sold out. And so then it was there and I was like, I feel like it's meant to be, but like I don't need another lipstick. And then I purchased it, really loved it. So these are my three purchases for March. So my beauty bank was at 28 products. I brought three products into my collection, bringing my beauty bank down to 25 products. Now I'm really excited to get into all of the products that I emptied out in the month of March. All right, you guys. So one of my rules for my makeup rehab this year is that I can only... I'm only allowing myself to bring three bronzers into my collection this year unless I hit pan or empty out a bronzer then it's almost like I have a bronzer beauty bank that beauty bank for every bronzer pan hit or bronzer pan emptied out my bronzer bank goes up by one I feel like I like just sound so ridiculous talking about this bronzer 
historically has been a category that I really struggle with. We always, it's always like May and June. We hit May and June and I just go bronzer crazy. So my bronzer bank at the beginning of the year started at three. Um, I emptied out the Tarte Sea Breezy bronzer. We were down, or we were up, my bronzer beauty bank was at four. Last update, I brought in the Rare Beauty bronzing stick. Beauty bank went back down to three for bronzer. And I am so excited to share that I have a new bronzer pan bringing my bronzer beauty bank back up to four. I hit pan on the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow in the bronzer, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I just wanted to share that really quick because my bronzer bank will now be back up to four. I'm like trying to remember if I, I did purchase a bronzer during the Sephora Bay Bia sale, but I think only one. However, I feel like I get through the VIB sale and then like May hits and for some reason in May, maybe it's because I know summer's like looming ahead, like it's we're almost there. I purchase like five to six bronzers and it always happens in the course of like three to four days. So that's why I did the bronzer bank thing. My bronzer bank is at four right now, at least until my Sephora VIB sale package arrives later. And then I have, so my pan does not count towards like my actual beauty bank, it doesn't increase that number by one, but it increases my bronzer bank by one. Are you guys following or are you thinking I'm act like an actual lunatic? I have 11 makeup empties to share with you guys. So my beauty bank was at 25. We have 11 empties to share. My beauty bank is gonna be back up to 36 products, which is greater than we started out with, which I'm really excited for. So let's first start with these two mascaras. Um, these have both been open for over four months at this point in time. With mascara, I usually allow them to be open for about four months. And then whether or not they're actually empty or not, I count them as empties. Maybe that's cheating in your eyes, but for me, I'm fine with it. The ironic, interesting part of this is, and I don't know what's going on, but so my e.l.f. Big Mood, I love, and I have another one of these in my mascara collection. I'm excited to reach for it again. Um, it has a really big wand. It's amazing. My stopper started to like come out on its own and it got super messy. And then also in my Hourglass Unlocked mascara, my, no, maybe not this one. Okay, so it was, I was gonna say now in my Maybelline, one of my Maybelline mascaras, my stopper's coming out. I'm like, what is going on? Why do my stoppers keep coming out? But the Elf Big Mood retails for $5. Hourglass Unlocked, I took half of what a real full-size mascara would be. So I'm counting this as $14 towards my beauty bank. I also finished up my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This had been in my collection for far too long. It was expired. I've spent so, I spent so much money on this. I wanted to use it up. And by expired, I mean it was past the shelf life on the back. Not that it actually like smelled bad or anything like that. So I finished this up. I thought maybe I would eventually repurchase another one of these, but for me, it's actually just, it's not worth it. I thought it was, but it's like, I, there's so many other less expensive glowy primers on the market. Like I do not need to be spending 48, 50 bucks on this. So that's just an empty. I have some project pan spoilers in here that I don't want to like spoil if you're following along. So I'm going to save this for the end. I just updated my whole collection project pan recently. Um, so you guys would already know about this one. It's my Fenty gloss bomb in the shade sweet mouth. My stopper, I tried to take out. It was impossible. It ended up getting pushed to the bottom. So it looks like there's still product in this, but it's the stopper stuck at the bottom and I truly cannot get any more product out of this. I'm very excited to have another lip gloss empty in my life. And then you guys, I remember when I filmed my makeup empties for 2021, I told you guys, I know I finished up a Kopari lip glossy, but I lost it somewhere and it like fell into the abyss of whatever. And I didn't count it towards my empties because I didn't have the actual physical empty product to share with you. And then I was deep cleaning my car the other day just because it was like nice out. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like get my life together, clean my car out so I can feel better about myself and my car. And I found my Kopari lip glossy that's been gone for like a year. So I'm counting this as an empty now because it is truly an empty. I have another one in this same just clear lip glossy that I'm almost done with. And I still have two more Kopari lip glossies in my collection. I did decide to skip out on my Kopari birthday suit lip glossy that was in my Sephora VIB shop with me. So thank goodness because I still have three currently open in my collection. But this is an empty. This retails for $13. I have two more of my fresh sugar lip treatments that I finished up. I purchased the, I believe it was six pack 
of the sugar lip treatments during the November Sephora VIB sale because I live in Minnesota. My lips are always dry. I love lip balms. And I finished up two more of these. I believe I finished up four total this year now. So I finished up the shade Petal. I don't care to dig inside. It's com like I can't get any more unless I were to like actually dig in. And for me, this is good enough. I believe I paid $45 for the set of six. So I did like 45 divided by six to equal $7.50 per actual lip balm. So that's what I'm counting this as towards the actual dollar value of product that I used up. And then I also finished up the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. And I'm currently working on the Mint Rush. So hopefully you'll be seeing another one of these in April's empties, but I finished that up. Also, I have this little mini Marc Jacobs Dew Drop in the shade Fantasy. I ended up just like squirting the rest of this into one of my body lotions and mixing it in so that it was like more of like a highlighty body lotion rather than finishing this up as a primer or an actual liquid highlight just because it was a little bit too deep for me. Um, so I'm really excited that I found a way to repurpose this. Um, and I didn't feel like doing the math on this to figure out how much this empty would be. So when it's a little mini like this and I don't feel like doing the math, I just always count these as $2. And now, if you were following any of my project pans, um, my deck of panning project pan, as well as my partners in cream project pan, if you don't want spoilers, skip ahead like a minute. But I have three more empties. My Kaja Earhart lipstick is finally done. I was working on this since January of 2021, and I finally finished this up. I actually um, used this quite a bit or quite more frequently as a cream blush rather than a lipstick towards the end, just because I hated the way it looked as a lip looked as a lipstick but loved it as a cream blush but i'm so excited to finally have this as an empty because this took forever i believe this costs 18 or 19 dollars i'll have the accurate information there's a few things i still have not added up so i have all the accurate information in my description box if you guys want to keep keep track that way i do put a lot of information into the description box of my makeup rehab series my uh little milk makeup hydro grip primer i had rolled this into my deco panning project pan as a give me product i just had a little bit left there was like my line marking i really truly just had a little bit left used it up it's an empty i'm excited i'm counting this just as a two dollar little mini empty and then also my partners in cream project pan we were just talking about how i really enjoyed the herborean cc cream just not the water one. Um, so this is just the original CC cream and I have it in the mini size. This actually lasted me a really long time. I do wanna purchase this again because I think it's gonna be like the perfect product for spring and summer, but I think I'll just purchase this size again because this size will get me through the spring and summer. Just thinking about how much I'll wanna use this product, this will be plenty big. And it's not something I can see myself reaching for. I guess I should say I see myself reaching for it more in the spring and summer rather than the winter. So. I believe this size is offered at Ulta for like 20 bucks. I have the shade Door, which is a little bit too deep for, it's quite a bit too deep for me if I'm like my fairest, but works really well for me with a spring slash summer tan. I have my tanning lotion, tanning um, water coming to me in my Sephora VIB sale. I'm very excited for it, but I did finish this up. I think, again, I think this is like 20 or $24 for this size. Um, and I it took me like three months of pretty consistent use to finish up this size. So just for a little bit of reference. But those are the 11 makeup products that I used up throughout the month of March. As I already mentioned, my beauty bank was at 25. We emptied out 11 products. That brings my beauty bank up to 36 products, which I'm so excited about because I did purchase quite a bit during this Sephora VIB sale. That haul should already be up. I'm filming this, but I know that I'm gonna post my Sephora VIB sale before this, but I wanted to get this video filmed. This might not go up for another week, just pending like, how quickly I can get other videos up, edited, whatever it might be. But my beauty bank is currently at 36 products, which I'm really excited about. I think I'm going to take another breather from makeup now that I have all of my Sephora VIB items coming to me. I'm very excited about all those new products. But yeah, I'm feeling really successful. I'm so proud of myself for spending less than $20 on makeup in March. Like that is a huge accomplishment for me because I love to spend money on makeup. So anyway, I would love to know in the comments down below. I'll post on the screen right here um, the total dollar value of what I spent versus what I used up this month. Um, and then I will also post my rules again just to kind of refresh. I don't have them in front of me, so I'll just post them on the screen right now um, and where we're at. And again, all of this information will also be in the description box. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I would love to know in the comments 
how was it going? Are you doing a low buy this year? Like, have you purchased a lot? Did you purchase a lot for this for a VIB sale? How did your month of March go? Just let me know all the info in the comments. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch this video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I truly love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.